Welcome to this introduction to my book, Beginning Game Programming with Pygame Zero, a book about creating computer games for the Raspberry Pi and other computers. This video will show you some of the games that you'll get to create throughout the book. This game is a compass game designed to introduce you to Pygame Zero creating sprites, which are known as actors, and how to animate people around the screen. As the game progresses, new objects are added to make the game more challenging and more interesting to play. As well as the programming, the book gives some pointers to how you can create your own images for use in a computer game. From creating a person using basic shapes in LibreOffice Draw, creating a car sprite in Inkscape, tracing a castle in GIMP, creating pixel art in GIMP, and exporting 2D versions of 3D models from Blender. Colour is clearly important for most games, and the colour chapter shows you how to create a bouncing ball which changes colour as it moves around the screen, as well as a colour selector that allows you to experiment with colours. The game, Tank Game Zero, demonstrates how vector images work and creates a game using a randomly generated background. You can also add sounds and music to the game. Real sounds can be recorded directly on the Raspberry Pi, which are used in the tank game, or sounds can be generated through programs such as Sonic Pi. Sounds can also be system generated, such as those used in this piano game. The next game is used to cover two important topics. The first being object oriented programming. The game is a memory game based around the classic card game matching pairs. You'll get to see how object oriented programming can be used to make the game easier to program. The object-oriented programming then comes in really useful and add in a computer opponent, which is a form of artificial intelligence. There are different modes designed around the way that humans normally play the game. This is then applied to another classic, which is battleships. Here, the artificial intelligence uses a technique very similar to how many people play the game. This gives a reasonable level of difficulty. The final chapter covers some additional techniques involved with game programming and some tips for debugging. This includes how to create a grain for an arcade machine such as the Raspberry Pi Picade and techniques to create scrolling screens horizontally and vertically. It finishes with a final game which makes use of many of the techniques from the book, creating a space shooter game where you control a spaceship flying through an asteroid field.
After watching this video, you should have a good idea what the book is about and the games that you'll learn to make. All the source code is available to download, even if you don't buy the book. So you can take a look at that to see if you think the book may be useful. I'll put a link to my website in the video description. That will link to more videos looking at some of the techniques that are explained in the book. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel for more Raspberry Pi and Maker activities. You can leave a comment and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see included in my future videos.